What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie and today we're diving into user management in Ubuntu 24.04. Now this is crucial for anyone running a server because managing your users effectively is the backbone of maintaining a secure and efficient system. So whether you're a seasoned admin or just getting started with Linux, I'll break it all down for you. So grab you some coffee and let's get into the nitty gritty of user management. All right, let's start with the basics. So user management involves everything from adding and removing users to handling permissions and groups. It's your first line of defense against unauthorized access and potential breaches. In Ubuntu, by default, the root user is disabled to prevent accidental misuse and security risk. Instead, you can use a mechanism called sudo, which stands for super user do. And this allows permitted users to execute commands with administrative privileges, but only temporarily and under their own user identity. And this setup not only boosts security, but also keeps a clear log of who did what. And like I said, today we'll cover how to add and remove users, manage the groups, and control access rights. All essential for keeping your Ubuntu system under control. So let's hop over to the terminal and get things rolling. Before we move forward, I wanted to give a quick shout out to CIQ, the official partner of Rocky Linux. Rocky Linux is a Linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream complete binary compatible release using the Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system source code. The project is led by Gregory Kurtzer, who was the founder of the CentOS project. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ.co. All right, so I'm on Ubuntu 24.04 Desktop Edition, and we'll start with something a little simple, and that's just adding a new user account. So let's go on, open up the terminal, and you can follow along. This will work on any distribution. All these commands are on any distribution out there. So let's hit our Start menu, go to Terminal, and I'm gonna zoom this thing in so we can see a little better, or so you guys can see a little better with the recording. And actually, let's make it full screen so you guys can see. Okay, and so the first command is is the add user command. So I always like to show the man pages for this stuff. So let's type add user. It may or may not have it depending on what distribution you got, but here is the add user command. So there are two commands. It's uh, add user and add groups. And then you got all your options. This is the synopsis. And then it breaks down what each one of those commands actually do. I recommend you guys look through this if you need it, but that's all the documentation for it. Now let's go down and add a new user and I'll just show you guys the command. So sudo add user and then we're gonna name this user Joe and press enter and let's type in our sudo account boom and it'll walk us through it'll create pretty much everything for the system it'll use the skeleton file in order to set up the home directory and i might do a video just breaking that down but that'll allow you to set the defaults for any new user that's created and then all we had to do is type in our password for this user account and we had to type it in twice boom and it'll go through and ask you for user information that way you can have the person's information their location work phone number home phone number whatever information that it acts is in there it's all default you can just press enter and without filling any of that in it's optional but i recommend if you setting up a server for like multiple users then you want to fill that out that way that information is stored and whenever changes are made or software is installed you can go look in the logs and see who actually did it you can see who actually did it by the user account so it really it doesn't matter but this is just more information depends on if you got let's say you got 50 users that connect to this thing then it'll be easier or you'll have at least more information on the actual user let's type y for yes and that's pretty much it and let me break some of this down up here adding user joe and then selecting a user id which is from 1000 to 60,000. so it's basically gonna pick the next one from a thousand so it's 1001 adding that group and then adding new user to that group, which every account that's created on the system, it creates its own user account. Just so you guys know, creating a home directory. So our home directory is home.joe. 
and it's going to copy the files based on the skeleton file. And then it's pretty much it, adding new user Joe to supplemental, extra group users, I then info, adding user Joe to group users. So that I added to that group as well. And so that was pretty easy, right? But sometimes you may prefer to use the user add command. And like I said, this, all these commands or on every distro so user add and this is what i've said in the past there are multiple ways of doing things i think user add is an older command and what it does it gives you a little bit more control via the command line options and so let me show you guys a little bit of that right fast and we can do sudo user ads and then let's do dash m and then let's create another user account let's name this one john and then you can specify certain things based on the options and i'll show you guys the man page after this but let me show you guys what i'm gonna do i'm gonna select the shell so let's say you want to select a different shell for a user you got multiple shells on here like you can select the shell that you want them to use so we're gonna do bin bash for that but that's what these options do the dash s is for the shell then dash m and then the user account let's go to press enter so we can create this account boom and because we don't see any errors there it created that user account for us now watch this let me ls our home directory so you guys can see that everybody has a home directory so josh is my original account that i created when i installed this operating system and then we got joe and we got john now let me show you guys the man page right the user add command it may or may not show up it all depends add user is like a replacement of user add but user add has a lot more options in my opinion so i recommend you guys check it out see all our options down up in here that you can specify a lot like the home directory and then like defaults expiration date you can set the account inactive the skeleton directory let's say it's in a different location and this is that option that i put in there which was create a home directory and so dash m and it will use the skeleton directory and then dash capital m but i'm not gonna go through all this i just want to show you guys that you can create system accounts and let's go down and quit though but yeah i recommend you guys look at the user add command because you have a lot more options a lot more control by using that command this is the add user command it's almost like going through a wizard it'll do everything for you and only ask you a little bit of information and all that good stuff as far as the password and all that good stuff now let's go down in clear and i want to show you guys how to delete a user so let's check our home directory again and we got that joe and john account and let me give you guys the command to delete something and let's type man in right fast and let's do dell user and that pretty much stands for delete user let's go into the man page you can delete user delete group remove a user or group from the system you got options in here so i'm not gonna go through them all you guys can check it out at your leisure but let's go down and delete that joe account so sudo dell user and then all you have to do is specify the account that's the account we want to get rid of boom it'll remove the cron tab remove that user joe now remember this won't go through and delete everything that was created like for instance this will not delete the user's home directory and so if we ls this directory again which was home and press enter you'll see the home directory still there and that's done on purpose it'll get rid of the account but whatever files they created while they were logged into the system or had access to the system will still be there in case it needs to be backed up for whatever reason or archived then you can do that but in order to remove it let's say we want to remove that account as well we know it's the joe account so all you have to do is type the remove command and then dash or f because it's recursive any directory you have to use the remove and then but let's go home and then joe and let's take that off right there take off that backslash that forward slash and press enter and that'll remove that account for us so let me go up again boom you'll see the joe account is gone and the joe home directory is gone so that's pretty much how you completely remove the account. All right, cool. So let me go down and show you guys how to manage groups. Now, one way of doing it is using the add user command. And what we're gonna do is just use that John account. So all we have to do is type sudo add user John and then a group. And we're gonna add John to our sudo group, give him sudo privileges. So super cool. That's a easy way of actually doing. It. Now, like I said, there's more than one way to skin a cat and you can use the user my command. And I haven't showed you guys that yet, but we can type man and we can go to user my press enter. And this is modifying a user account. So I wanna show you guys how to do that right fast. Like I said, go through, look at the man page for yourself. But let's go down and create that Joe account again. So let's go back in here and user add Joe. Yeah, let's go down and do it that way. That'll work. 
and that'll add our Joe account. But let me show you guys how to add more than one group. We can do that using the user mod. So we can type pseudo user mod and then you can specify multiple groups and just show you guys the options. Like I said, you wanna look at that man page and see what the options are, but dash A is a pin and then the capital G is the group. So we're appending the group and we wanna add Joe to the pseudo group and then let's add another group let's add the john group because john has a group as well so we can type that one in and then our user account so let's go and press enter and that'll add joe to those groups and one way to check we can verify that he has it is by using the group command and then all we have to do is type in the account so groups and then the user account that we want to check so let's go groups and then joe and then this will show all the groups that joe is in and you'll see that joe is in the, the pseudo group as well as the john group as well as the joe group and like i said each user when it's created it creates its own group as well as add itself to that group and that's just the way the system works and now also we can look at groups for john let's see he should just only have the pseudo group and then the john group so cool and the same thing for my jazz account on here should have just pseudo and the local group so you can actually go through and add those other users to these groups as well if you want to mirror the jazz account or that's what that skeleton file is for you can go in and specify all the groups that you want added to a specific account when it's created all right now listen another about modifying the account so i want to show you guys how to lock the account let's say you don't want a user to access their account let's say you want to lock it out it's a command but it's the password command and actually let me show you guys that so let's go man p-a-s-s-w-d and let's press enter and that's changing the user password but there's an option for it i'll show you guys the command so it's p-a-s-w-d and then dash l for lock and then the user account. So let's lock the Joe account and the password is changed. Essentially that's what it does. It changes the password. Now, let me show you guys this. This is straightforward with the unlock. Let's say we need to unlock an account. So all we have to do is type the U and for unlock and then that Joe account, press enter. Password unlocking the password will result in a passwordless account. But you should set a password using user mod-p to unlock the password of the account. Now, like I said, there's multiple ways to do things in Linux. So let's type sudo. We can use that password command to set the password. We could type password and then the user account, press enter. It'll ask for a new password. So we can set the password and then we can allow the user to change the password, whatever. And now that account is back active. So you can lock down a user account immediately and you can do this by disabling their login. And let me show you guys that. You can use the uh, user mod command. So user mod and then it's dash capital L and then the user account. So we're gonna roll with Joe again, press enter, and that'll lock down the login of that account. And then you can enable it again by just typing U and press enter. Yeah, and I apologize for that because I did not uppercase it. So let's press enter. There we go. That'll change the login capabilities without modifying the password. And this is a good way to do it so you don't have to worry about the password and then worrying about how to get it to the user. All right, so that wraps up my video on user management in Ubuntu 24.04. And we've covered a lot today from adding and removing users to handling groups and permissions. Now remember, effective user management is key to running a secure server. So keep practicing these commands and soon they'll be like second nature and if this video helps you please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future tutorials also if you got any questions or need help drop a comment down in the comment section below i love hearing from you guys and thanks for watching stay curious and as always keep it tech